Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. This is called Well Special. Uh, the dish called Di San Xian. Uh, basically, we are using green bell peppers, potatoes, there's the gold Yukon potatoes, and this Asian Chinese eggplant. And we're gonna lightly bread it with this uh, tempura flour. We use it for tempura shrimp. And they show you the instruction in the back. Usually it's one cup of the tempura flour and maybe uh, three quarter cup of the ice water. The reason they say ice water is because when the batter is cold and when you deep fry in the hot oil, and it will get really crispy. And you can tell I still have a couple piece of ice here. Here we go, you mix it up. And then at the meantime, you're gonna... Uh, I try to use like uh, shallow pans, maybe just uh, three quarter inch uh, pan of the oil is a high smoke point vegetable cooking oil and because I'm gonna fry 12 pieces of the vegetable so I don't want to use a lot of oil and uh, 3 quarter inch will be good so I'm now I'm gonna heat up the oil maybe uh, to a temperature 350 is good enough I will come back the with you. The oil is ready so I have the batter and I put the vegetable in and then I'm gonna deep fry not long. Maybe about uh, one minute on each side. And this is ready. This is the first one I put. And you can tell the edging is like golden brown. Nice and crispy. Very nice. There we go. Give me a quick look. I have four pieces of vegetable, but I'm gonna cook it in two bags. And at the meantime, I got this uh, metal tray and I put a couple layer of the table towel for draining, soaking the oil when you're done deep frying. The oil is perfect. It's not too hot and you don't want to have cold oil. Temperature cold oil is not good because uh, the cold oil will absorb into the batter. Actually, uh, become more greasy, but hot oil is okay. All right, this is done. I'm gonna Before take it out. Before you cook the fry the second batch, you want to skim out those uh, extra batter, you see, because this, if you stay this batter into the uh, remaining oil, it's gonna be really dark and burn and fry and just not go together because they will stick to the new, uh, the batter, the vegetable you're gonna fry. So take that out. And now we're gonna put the second batch. Like this. Beautiful. Fried eggplant is very delicious. Also, you can use uh, like uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, pretty much uh, like uh, broccoli will be good too, or carrot. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. The second batch is ready. I'm gonna give them a quick flip. There we go. If you see this golden brown and this is not as golden brown, that's me because I rotate from here like against the uh, clockwise. So now I'm gonna wait for a little bit. Maybe the oil is not as hot as the uh, first batch. Yeah, see, better. Pepper should be okay. See, I can tell my batter is nice and crispy and hard. That's all we want. Okay. Another minute here, and we're gonna set on the side, and we're gonna make the sauce. Now we're gonna make the sauce. One and a half, teaspoon vegetable cooking oil, a little bit ginger and garlic. I like it a little bit spicy. So uh, I would like to use the sweet and chili sauce, just a little bit. They give a really good, nice uh, sweet and sour flavor, like this. And then this base is the sweet and sour sauce with the soy sauce. So we're gonna do that. Get them a quick saute like this. We want the ginger and garlic to infuse with that cooking oil and caramelize the sweet sauce. We're gonna add the one and a half cup of the vegetable sauce. Or you can use water, it's fine. And we're gonna bring the sauce to a boil. Okay, sauce is boiling now. We're gonna add some soy sauce. We'll start with two teaspoons. 
one, two. Let's do three. I know we need three. Okay. And then the, I use the apple cider vinegar to get the sour taste. One, two, three teaspoons. And sugar, I use the brown raw sugar. Same. And usually the sweet and sour, the sugar and the vinegar are the same equal amount. All right, and then we get the sauce, a quick stir. And we want the sugar to dissolve with the sauce. And for this dish, actually a little bit of the hoisin sauce will be nice. Just a little bit of hoisin sauce. Oh yes. And let the sauce bring out to a boil. When the sauce bring out to a boil, before you add any cornstarch mixed in, you want to give them a try. Mm, we need more flavor. So let's do one more teaspoon of the soy sauce. One more teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. One more here. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so now we have all the deep fried vegetable and sit here nice and happy. This is not hardly have any grease on the top because our oil is fried. The very hot oil. So now we're gonna thicken the sauce with the cornstarch mix. Okay, a little bit at a time. We want the sauce nice and thick. Stir a little bit. When the sauce got into really hot and the sauce will be thickened like this. See that? If you want to do the sauce on the side, which is fine too. Let's get a little more cornstarch. This sauce is usually like a gravy, thicker than the stir fry sauce, like this. You see? You see the consistency? Nice and thick. Okay, now we can add all the vegetable in. Real quick toss. So the skin will stay crispy. Everything in. Just give them a quick stir fry like this. Make sure all the sauce covered. Ready to serve. Yummy. Here's your Di San Xian. I sprinkle some green onion. Just give them a little color. So if you want to uh, use that sauce on the side for dipping, which is really good too. So uh, in that case, your vegetables still stay really nice and crispy. And uh, the texture of the eggplant and uh, potato is really nice, sweet. It's going to be delicious. And the sauce, you can make uh, however you like. Stronger flavor or lighter, it depends. So I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. i see you next time. Bye.